my tachometer is flipped all the way around. And when I do the self test, it doesn't want to get out of there. I'll try to do that real quick. So to do the self-test, push and hold this button and turn the ignition on and then let go of the button and the gauges go through a sweep. And then as you can see there, the tachometer goes back. So I'm going to get this gauge cluster removed and repaired. We get quite a few of these with tachometer and speedometer problems. So it's a pretty common issue. I'm going to get it removed and repaired. So to pull this cluster out, you need to take off this panel right here. Alright, so get a, a plastic pry tool like this and get in here and just start working it out. As you can see there, it just pops out. I'm going to have to move the shifter. I'm just going to lower this down like this. And no need to disconnect all those plugs. Should be fine right there. So on this side, there's two seven millimeters screws or Phillips head screws. And then this bottom kick panel needs to be just, you just grab it and pull it back or use the pry tool to pry it out and no need to disc uh, unscrew the bottom. All you need to get to is these screws right here. I'm gonna get those screws removed real quick. All right, so I got all the screws removed. Now you can just work work this panel out. Just like that, pops out, and I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect that headlight switch. All right, so the headlight switch just has one plug there. Just push this and pull it out. And the cluster is held on with four screws, seven millimeter, one on each corner. All right, I got it removed. There's three plugs on the back, or there's four on the back, but there's only three, three connectors. So just push this tab and pull them out. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get this repaired. I'm not gonna film repairing it. There's several videos on YouTube if you wanted to look it up. Uh, so I'm gonna repair it and put it back in and show you the end results. All right, so I got the, I got the cluster reinstalled. As you can see, the tachometer is working. Right there it says target idle speed, 800 RPMs. Got it calibrated. So now let's do a self-test. Looks like it's working properly. If you have an issue with your gauge cluster and would like to send it to us for repair, 
We offer a lifetime warranty and a 24 hour turnaround time. There's going to be a link to our website in the description. Thanks for watching.